Once you do these four things, you will find that self-love, the ability to love yourself, is your natural state of being. Step one, surrender what you thought your life was going to look like but doesn't. All those things you thought you would have experienced or have by now but you don't, surrender. Let it all go. Step two is to accept what you have created. This is where my life is now. Once I stop fighting what it is, then I can actually take steps and change what I'm experiencing. Step three is to trust the process. You don't have to trust yourself or trust anyone else. Trust that if you put one foot in front of the other foot and you trust your body, you follow its signals, then something will happen and things will start to change. When you trust that process, you will start actively creating your life according to your desires, according to your authentic self, according to your wants and needs. And those people that are going to come with you for the ride, those are your people. The people that don't want you to live your authentic self and actively create your life, it will be time to say goodbye. And that's a lot of what holds us back. We want to bring all these people with us, but sometimes they're not meant to come with us. So when you surrender, accept, trust, and actively create, you will find that the natural flow is that you love yourself. Because when you do those things, you know you're worthy of that love. You're living in accordance with your truth, with your authentic self. Boom, self-love happens without you having to figure it out.